Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to review the entire Peri Pera and Maltese collection. I am so excited about this because I picked up everything I could from Olive Young and we are going to talk about all of them and try them on camera together. This was a collection that I purely bought because, again, of the packaging. This is just adorable, we can't say no. And Peri Pera is one of those brands that I genuinely enjoy a lot. I think their products are really, really good. They're high quality and they're very affordable. So when I saw this line, a lot of things spoke out to me anyway. So regardless, I would have gotten it like sooner or later. So I thought, let's just get it with this whole collection as well. I did manage to pick up every single thing from the collection that was available at Olive Young. I'm pretty sure there was a setting palette that was also released but that wasn't available when I bought it, so I don't have that with me. But everything else, I have it all. I have already prepped and primed my skin. For my skin, I did use Bobbi Brown's Vitamin Enriched Face Base for primer. And then for foundation, I used the Clio Kill Cover New Fond Wear Cushion. I really love this one. And I also used the About Tone Setting Powder all over the face because there are no cream products that I want to try. And I want to set my face so it's ready to go. The first product that we are going to try is this beautiful Peri Pera Pure Blushed Sunshine Cheek in number 20, Cloudy Pink. This is one of those products that really stood out to me because not only is it a beautiful ombre, it has blue in it, which is something really unique to me. I've never seen a blue blush before. Now, this is a very cool tone blush, and I did think it's something quite unique to my collection, so I really wanted to try it out. If you look super closely, there are micro shimmers in this product, so I think it's really good for giving your skin a more, I guess, natural blush rather than matte, which might look a little bit unnatural sometimes, so this gives some shine to your skin as well. I have used the Peri Pera blush formula in the past. I did like it. It's very easy to blend, but I don't have one in my collection currently just because I have so many blushes. So yeah, really excited to have this one, and let's just apply it onto our cheeks. You want to use the blue part of the blush to actually brighten your face and give it a plumping effect because our face right now is just one color. It's just a foundation. There's no really, I guess, dimensions or sculpting going on. So you want to use the blue to plump and bring forward features of your face. So I'm going to take my blush brush, sweep it on the top, which is the blue section, really coat the brush like so and what I'm going to do is actually place this right underneath my eyes here to further plump and just bring forward that part on my face. I don't know if you can see on camera but that is very shimmery actually and gives quite a lot of shine to my skin and then using another blush brush you want to use the pink part and actually use that where you would normally apply your blush. So I'm going to actually connect these two and put it on the apples on my cheeks. I don't know if it's obvious on camera, but with the blue, it's not super obvious, but it did have a highlighting effect on this side and it gives my face more of a dimension in comparison to this side where everything's a bit more flat. This brings this section of my face forward and makes it look almost more youthful, which I think it's quite nice. It's also a very subtle blue. It's not actually very blue, but it does have quite a lot of highlighting particles in it, which looks like just highlighter on my face. Not a huge fan of that personally, but it's not as scary as you would expect from a blue blush. We're also going to use this blue actually on the chin. So right here and on the forehead as well to bring this part forward. We're also going to put some on the cheekbones because I want to portray that a little bit more. Now, again, we're going to dust some of the pink blush and just blend all that together. There we are. I think it's a very subtle color. You definitely can't see much, but it does actually bring some shading into my face, which I do not mind. Um, like I mentioned earlier, it's very shimmery, so I'm not sure about that. But overall, not too bad. I'm going to replicate this on the other side of my face now. I think because normally I am such a warm tone blush person, and I have warm tones underneath anyway. Having a cool tone blush looks a little bit grey on me, but because of my placement, I used it almost as a contouring powder. It looks great. It just gives some colour to my cheeks, and the blue definitely brings out features and makes my skin look more dimensional, which I think is great. This is a good way for me to experiment with colour theory and different ways to apply makeup. Next in the collection we are going to try is actually two eyeshadow palettes. Now, the two eyeshadow palettes, the only thing is this one is released only for this collection. This one is repackaged and I bought both. 
first let's talk about the repackaged palette from Peri Pera. This is the All Take Mood Like palette and I got this in the shade 01 Prestige Pink. You will have realized that a lot of the colors I chose today are from the cooler side. It's because I'm really into pinks lately. I just think it's so cute and this palette I, they gave some personalized stickers, which I have already stuck onto my palette. You can see this is the end result. It's super cute and it's actually a good quality sticker. It's like the ones that are a little bit 3D, but this is what the palette looks like on the inside. <gasps> Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with it. So you have two larger palettes for setting and also for blush. You also have a blush on the center and a highlighter and an eight eyeshadows so you can use this side for more like brown tones deeper and this is more for like everyday more fun and light colors i just think it's really really cute and the colors really speak to me i think this is adorable but you can pick this up outside of the collection so it's not super special they only gave some stickers and had some imprint of Maltese on here. So that's something I wanted to mention as well. But within this collection, they did come out with a brand new palette. This is their longer, what I call the ruler palette. They look like a ruler to me. And this is also the All Take Mood palette. And this is in the shade 16 Bravo Pink Puppy. First of all, how cute is the packaging? I don't know where the dolphin came from, but it's doing its thing. It's cute. And ta-da, look at that. That is such a cute color story i feel like this is one that you can use every single day and i do like how they're in theme with like the blue here the blue here is a shimmer so it's not very obvious it doesn't have too much of a base tone so don't worry if you think that it is going to be really really scary and blue for review purposes i'm going to actually use both palettes on my eyes i'm going to use the ruler palette on the left hand side and this face palette on the right hand side i'm going to try to get a similar look but that is only for review purposes normally i would probably just choose one and personally i feel like this one speaks to me a little bit more i like the color story just a tad bit more um it has more of those coffee tones and latte shades and yeah let's try to get a look together one thing to know there is not a single mirror in this entire collection so it's a little bit annoying you do have to get another product so i'm going to just use my Clio foundation compact mirror Starting off, I'm going to take this matte shade and just set this all over the lid so we have a color to work with for later. For my right hand side, I'm going to take a similar matte shade and we are also going to just put it all over the lids. Next to deepen things up, I want to take this rich salmon shade and deposit it close to my lash line and start to blend up into an ombre. Similarly, I'm going to take this matte with shimmer shade and mix it with the matte shade next to it so you get a little bit of a lighter color story and deepen my eyes now you will notice the pigmentation for both palettes are very very light it's very typical of a korean eyeshadow palette it's not something that's super intense and that's just something you have to keep in mind you want a wash of color kind of situation now i'm actually going to take the darkest shade from this palette it is a cool brown matte with shimmer so it's a matte with a silver shimmer and i'm going to trace this along my lash line okay this is a lot more pigmented i'm going to take the cool brown next to it just to further blend everything out replicating it on the other side i'm going to take the darkest brown and trace this all over and then use the shade next to it to blend it out very nice now we are going to go on to the star of the show which are the shimmers i do want to swatch both these shimmers for you guys because they are very very fine and they are so sparkly can we see how beautifully shimmery these are they are very sparse they're fine glitters and they will reflect they are so pretty and again i really appreciate how the blue isn't super blue so you can top it on anything but because i'm doing it almost like a dupe situation on both sides i'm going to take the pink shimmer because that one is easier for me to find a color match in the other palette and pat it on the center of our lids oh that is so pretty the thing i love about k beauty shimmers is that they don't really have a undertone or like a base shade they literally are just packed loose glitters and they are usually so fine and reflective and they have a lot of different colors as well so for example this one i can see it's gold it's pink it's red it has some purples in it as well it's just everything oh that is beautiful that is really really nice and to top things off i am actually going to use this beige shimmer and put it under my brow bones and call a day for this eye oh that is really pretty 
Okay, now we're going to do the exact same thing on this side. I think these shimmers are nice, but they don't pack as much of a punch in comparison to the longer palettes because those have more glitter particles in them. These, they are more just like silver shimmers. So they're pretty for every single day, but not as intense if you want something like this, but it's still really beautiful nonetheless. So gonna get a little bit of this pink shimmer and pat it all over the lids as well. Okay, really, really pretty. For my brow bone, I'm actually going to take the center heart highlight and put it underneath my brows. So like that. One thing to note is that this is actually an iridescent, so it will turn a little bit pink as well. Very, very pretty. I really, really like that highlighter. It's really, really nice. And yeah, both eyes look so similar. They look like they could be done by the same palette, but obviously this one is slightly more pink tone. This one is more brown, but either way, I think they look very similar. Before we are completely done with the eyes, we do have one more product to try out and that is the Ink Thin Brush Liner from this collection and I got this in the shade Beige 08. So this is actually not only an eyeliner, but it is a shimmery eyeliner. Let me show you guys. I hope that showed up. Yes, so this is actually a shimmer that has a beige kind of undertone. The main reason I got this was because I love to do, you guys know, the highlights in the corners of my eyes. So I thought if I have a brush liner, it's a super thin tip. I can just use this rather than getting a brush each time. It'll be super convenient. So let's give that a go. Oh, that is pretty. And it is very, very shimmery. Instantly, this eye looks much more awake and brightened. Oh, this is really nice. And I'm glad I got this shade. It's not super pigmented per se, but it's very shimmery and shiny. It looks like almost like the Stila eyeshadows, but obviously with a thinner brush and a little bit more waterier as a consistency. It is so easy to use as well, and I love the effects on my eyes. Oh wow, that really draws attention to my eyes, and I really like the effects of that. That is very pretty. I really enjoy it, and I think this is something that I can use all the time. It's very convenient as well, so I highly appreciate that. But before we finish with the eyes, we're going to talk about the next product in this collection, which is the Ink All Black Cara set. And you guys know I am obsessed with the Peri Peri Ink Black Cara in 03 Clear set. I think that was in the collection, but somehow it wasn't released on Olive Young, so I got another one. I got the Long Curling, which is number one. It's actually the best seller out of the entire range of mascaras here. So I thought, you know, I'd give it a try. And very typical Olive Young fashion, this is a one plus one box. So you get two mascaras here. I only need to open one. The other one, I'll probably keep it to gift or something like that. But let's just take a moment and appreciate the packaging. You have the cutest Maltese dogs and puppies on here. I love this. It is so cute. I literally... I'm so obsessed with this entire collection. It is just the prettiest packaging ever. And yeah, let's try it on our eyes. So this is what the mascara looks like. You have a slight bend and dip inside the applicator. It is very, very short bristle, which is awesome for short stubby lashes like mine. And I think there are also some fibers in it. I'm not too sure if I'm being honest. But hey, let's just give it a go. This mascara is so pretty. It definitely has some microfibers in it because it has lengthened my eyelashes and that looks awesome. I don't know if you guys can see how dramatic the effects of my lashes are, but it looks great. And they're not clumping at all. So I really like it so far. This mascara is really, really nice. I, that's all I have to say. It really helped make my lashes long and their individual strands as well. I love the effects also on my lower lashes. It really picked up on everything. This is a great mascara. I'm really loving it. I'm going to go off camera just to quickly do my brows and come back for the last product. This is actually a product I've tried out in the past and really love. This is the Ink Mood Glowy Tint. And this is the shade. I picked up one of the shades. I picked up 15 Mellow Melon. This is a beautiful lip tint. It's very gel-like and it gives you a glossy, glossy finish. And the cute thing is it actually comes with one of those phone holder grip thingies. So it's one of those you can stick onto your phone and oh, you can pull it out like that. So when you're playing with it, you can just put your hand in like so. And of course, it's a Maltese with a phone. It's just absolutely adorable and you can press it down. So it's not, it's quite flattened. It doesn't take up too much space. I personally don't use these just because um, 
I have a clear phone case and I like to put photo cards in it to show off my idols but this is a cute idea and this is what the tint looks like very adorable you have the peri peri logo and the maltese collection and the shade mellow melon is actually quite an orangey shade i'm not sure if you guys can see properly from the tube but once you put it onto the lips it turns into this beautiful my lips but better just a little pink tint and it looks a little bit neon right now but once you put it on the lips it looks gorgeous and it is really really pretty i just realized i put the swatch all over the liner from earlier but let me show you guys a little bit better here you can see it's quite a thicker gloss texture and even as you spread it out it actually maintains the color which is really nice it stays glossy and glassy for a very very long time and it's also really reflective which is stunning and yeah enough talk let's just put it on our lips i kind of just applied it everywhere today i felt like it really helps make an opaque lip but usually i would do an ombre lip you can see how beautiful this is it has a little bit of orange tint to it but it's still mainly pink and it just goes with so many different looks definitely wearable for every single day and it feels really comfortable it also has a very strong scent though i would say it's like a okay it's not very strong it's like vanilla i would say it's like a toned down mac lipstick that's what this feels like it's very 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 gourmand that's how i would describe it but it is very nice and this shine will last a long time this will transfer though so for example this is my mug if i take a sip but honestly, not too big a deal and it still stands on your lips fine. So I think this is a good product and it will leave a little bit of pinkness to your lips. So you don't have to worry about reapplying it too much. But definitely after a good six hours, definitely reapply if you want to see something a little bit more pigmented and glossy again. Okay, so final wrap up time. These are all the products we try out. How crazy is that we put so many onto our face? But let's go through them one by one. I want to talk about the blush first. This one took me by surprise. Not only is the color story actually something... I appreciate and I think I will actually use a little bit more but I'm taken aback by how shimmery it is I didn't realize the shimmer would be so intense there is actually quite a lot of shine in it and I yeah it gave me a highlighting effect which I was not expecting but I kind of really like I do think the blue is really fun for I guess color theory so it can bring forward features of my face and the pale pink because it's so lightly pigmented it's not super obvious but that's a good thing because I have warm skin so otherwise it'll go gray the subtle coloring on my face actually is quite pretty and i do like that is this something i would use every day no but every time i feel like i want to play with makeup and i have time to play with makeup this is something i would definitely reach for so i really like this and i know the other one in the collection is a more salmon pink everyday kind of shade so if you're into that that duo might just be better for you but yeah i do actually enjoy this and next i want to talk about the two eyeshadow palettes the eyeshadow palettes are definitely amazing i do love the stickers here it just feels really nice the texture as well because it's a little bit bumpy and i actually really enjoy the formula of this one i would say if you definitely the color story is a little bit different but that aside this one has much more pigmented base shades i would say like the pinks and the beiges they show up a little bit more whereas the darker shades actually don't show up as much in pigmentation so these are good for if you really want to lay on a pink color i do really like this kind of baked jelly formula in the center we didn't get to play with the blush but i would have inserted some you know swatches anyway and you could see that i do like the formulas i think the shimmers are very nice they're just a little they're not as shimmery in comparison to this one this one is a little bit more sparse but honestly on the eyes you can't really tell the difference this is very everyday friendly and i do like it. it's also very versatile because you can use it for your cheeks as well so yeah this one is a great one highly recommend there is also another more apricot colored one this one i do like quite a it's, I, I don't know if I would like this in more. I, I think I'm leaning towards this color story because it has more of those safe browns that I'm loving. These shimmers are just so multi-dimensional and glittery. They're very, very pretty and they stand out a lot on the eyes. It makes the eyes look very sparkly and disco ball-like. These, I would say, the lighter shades, the pigmentation isn't that strong. It's a wash of color. You can't probably differentiate between these colors, but the dark 
mattes, especially because probably it's a matte with shimmer, so they have more pigments in it. It is a lot darker. Everything blends really nicely. I do like how they played it with like a safer formula. That one, it's a little bit more interesting because they have that baked heart in the center. But honestly, I think this is a great palette. And even if it wasn't in the collection, this is one I would probably pick up because it has everyday shades, but it has a few just to play around with. So yeah, this one's a cute palette. I really liked that one. And now let's talk about this beautiful mascara i really like how my lashes look today they are so long and they have individual strands it looks great and i just hope it lasts all day but from the peri peri formula i know it will last a long time and it's easy to take off you just need an actual makeup remover and it looks absolutely insanely gorgeous I really like this one. I still like my clear set just a little bit better because that one is meant to be a primer so it preps and it makes your lashes look more individualized and thinner. This one almost voluminizes a little bit which isn't bad because if you're only using this one this looks great but for days for subtle lashes I still prefer that one just a tad more but this packaging is a win. This glitter liner I absolutely adore it. I think it's just so convenient. Honestly this is a product I look for. I know nowadays it's very popular to do the under eye bags trend for makeup and this is probably really good for highlighting that but for me I only want to do the inner corners because when I smile I already have the fat under my eyes there's no point drawing it on. I really like this. I think I can actually use this every single day. This is a win. It's so just convenient but the thing is if you're using this to do for example a graphic liner it's probably not pigmented enough to do that let's actually experiment right now underneath my existing liner yeah you can draw it on and it has like a little sparkle situation but it's not pigmented enough for it to show up by itself i hope I hope that makes sense because it's nice to add like a little glitter accent but you can't actually see that you have like a beige line on top of it so it's not pigmented enough if you want to do graphic liner with this but for highlighting purposes like what I did this will be great so yeah I like that one I think it's awesome and you guys already know I love this lip formula this is amazing really like the glassy look and I've had it on for a while now I actually took a break before filming this wrap up so I I think this is a great lip product and it's super affordable. You can't really go through many of these in a year because there's so much product. You only need a little bit and it goes a long way. So yeah, great bang for your buck. In general, Peri Peri is quite an affordable brand. So all these products are wallet safe, I suppose. I, yeah, really enjoy this collection. There isn't much to complain about actually. So really excited to try everything out. But the highlights for me definitely are this glitter liner and I would say this ruler eyeshadow palette. I think this one's more special just because this one is not limited edition or at least it's not created specifically for this collection. This is one that was already in the market and they recycled it. Seems a little bit lazy in my opinion, but I do love this very, very much. The mattes blend easily, the shimmers are gorgeous, they stay put and they stay shimmery for a very long time as well. Everything is just really easy to use and yeah, the only thing is I'm not a big fan of how long it is but again, it's very thin as well so it's also travel friendly, very sturdy. So yeah, that is my favourite top two from this collection. Let me know down below if you plan on picking this collection up or if anything from this collection interests you. But that is it for today's video. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up or even subscribe to my channel. And let me know down below what other videos you would like to see from me in the future. But that is it for today and I'll see you guys next time.